Hello and welcome to Beyond Horizons. Behind every program, behind every everything that's new is always a story. And sometimes or quite often it's a sport story that we are breaking so that we can make space for something new. Beyond Horizons is very much the same, this series. It is a story that I had to break. But I'm not the only one who has a story to break. And our stories don't need to be the same. But when we break a story, it's about a story that holds us back. So when we break a story, we make space to look beyond. Now myself, I was a little boy climbing high trees, wanting to see beyond the horizon. I was a young boy who was curious about life, about people, about language, about this planet. The secrets, the mystic, always called me. I was curious how I could communicate with animals or trees beyond maybe the ordinary beyond the linear, beyond the absolute. That always fascinated me. But I had chosen a family where my father was a man who was absolute and authoritarian. Of course, coming from a generation and the war where maybe that was the way to be. And a mother who was afraid of, of stepping out. As an apress, she lived in her world with her bees and kind of enjoyed that perfection there as much as she could and tried to integrate the natural cycles of life away from the over-farming and the over-producing and the over-industrialization of honey. So Beyond Horizons was really a difficult thing for me because I couldn't talk with anybody. So I had to break that story that I couldn't talk about it. And I did. And of course I've done that a long time ago, but there's still always new bits and pieces. And bringing forth that story now of Beyond Horizons, again, was about breaking old stories that I can't do that, I'm not good enough, I, I don't find the people who want to join me on this. These are all the stories I just let go. I broke them. So I could be here with you and explore together with you your Beyond Horizons, not mine. The field, I feel, is equally important for everybody right now because we all need to figure out how to live in a new world, whether it goes one way or another way, whether we believe in whatever. It is about being able to have the connection to the earth, to the water, to the air, and to the fire, and maybe most of all to the fifth element, as Einstein called it, love. Now to summarize my whole breaking story scenario, the most important part of me breaking my stories is actually that I realized the most important thing for me is to connect. When I connect, I crack. It's like this bombshell experience. I open up and all these horizons that I'm dreaming about they are here. And from that abundance of opportunities and challenges, I can find my way. I find my strength. I find my endurance, my grit, my discipline. And I do it. And this is something that Patrick at another time just couldn't do. So I'm here now to teach you how to shine, how to connect beyond 
the limitation, beyond the box, beyond the label, beyond the fields and the trends and the niches, to connect to yourself also within, so that we all can shine, that we all can show up and shine in a new world. So this is the story behind. Very curious to see you, to find what stories you are breaking, to be here, to show up and to shine in this new world.